Hi, I'm Zucha Beni Tungoy. I am the VLCC Feminine Miss India Nagaland 2020. Miss India platform has been a dream for me, so it did not come to me by surprise and I'm so glad I'm one of them today. I'm currently pursuing my studies in mass media from Wilson College, Mumbai. I love to sing and I love interacting with people and also I love to bake cakes and counsel them whenever required. The very fact that I'm here in Miss India is the past winners that has set amazing examples for women like us and paved the way. And today I'm here because I really admire women of power and this platform just produces women of power and I want to be one. As a little girl, I've always been bullied and I have always faced discriminations wherever I went. Also because of the way I look and I just look not like any other Asian looking kid like people would expect here in Nagaland but I always look different and that has been one of the most challenging moments of my life however I've been able to look at those moments as a learning phase of my life and have been able to come out of it and today I really embrace my flaws and take myself positively so I would say that my perception towards life is what makes me unique among the rest of the contestants looking forward to learning how can I be socially giving how can I be the person that the public can depend on and that is the one learning that I really like to take along with me with this experience of mine regret has to be one of the greatest fears because I've always been a go-getter and a doer so for me to regret is something that I really dread and I hope that I don't regret in the future it was very exciting but very terrifying at the same time because my introduction video went viral and a lot of people thought that I'm the one representing Nagaland so that was a terrifying wait but I can tell you that I was the happiest when the result was announced I think like every other girl I'm really excited for the crowning moment because that is the time when you'll create a history One thing that I really appreciate about my state that I feel is so underrated is the cuisine of our state. It is so authentic and you will not find this in any part of the world. And this is something that is underrated and I wish people appreciated more. I think there are so many traditions that I really love about my state. But one of which I find it so significant is the customary community fishing where the entire village takes part to practice this amazing tradition and it is such a beautiful sight and I'm so proud of it. Three of my favorite regional dishes has to be one authentic Naga style of cooking fish which is marinated with Naga herbs and prepared in, in a bamboo so that is amazing and the second one would be the Manipuri Thali uh, it is an assortment of varieties and I absolutely love the flavors it is just so incredible how every dish has different tastes and it is just an incredible delicious meal the third one I, uh, I would say is the Naga style of cooking chicken it's just very simple, it's just boiled with some ginger and herbs and it's just the simplest chicken and amazing and healthy. One of the most awaited national holidays has to be Christmas because in Nagaland we are 99% Christians and that is the time of the year where we celebrate the most. When you walk across the streets of Nagaland you will see the lights being lighted up, the Christmas trees being decorated and I think that has to be the most anticipated time for everyone in Nagaland. Five years is a long time for me to think what I'm going to become and it is it may not be the certain way that I want it but one thing that I'm sure is that I'm going to be a social activist and perhaps a better human being. Apart from being a beauty pageant winner, I think I would love to be a successful singer. That's what I've been doing and I would love to do that for the rest of my life. 
very proud of who I've become. It took me a lot of learnings and a lot of struggles to become the person I am. I've learned to embrace my flaws and I'm very confident of who I am today, so I will not change anything. If I could invite anybody for a dinner, I would love to invite Sushmita Sen because she is one of the greatest inspirations that I've derived from and I would love to have her for a chit chat on a dinner.